In this video, we're taking Jordan Flynn through a speed and power workout for boxing. This is done towards the back end of training camp, so just 10 days out from a fight, and we're working on a range of different speed and power factors that can be transferred into a more explosive boxing performance. In this session, we're particularly looking at lower body explosiveness, plyometrics using baton pogos, ollie shuffles, and also counter movement jumps. We're looking through punch specific actions using the banded shadow box, punch iso holds, and the med ball punch throw. And then we're also looking at improving rotational function. This is through rotational mobility exercises, rotational strength exercises with the cable, split stance, row and rotate, and also looking at rotational power, looking at his rotational function when he's going into split position, absorb force, and then reproduce force in a rotational power action. Here comes the workout. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Hopefully you enjoy the workout. You're just gonna have this foam roller in between your knees and you're going to take a deep breath in and you're going to rotate around to the side, yeah? Good, and then you're going to push against me slightly there for three seconds, push against me. Three, two, one, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good, and keep them legs locked in. Good, other side, deep breath in. Deep breath out, rotate. Good, push against me slightly there. Three, two, one, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Three, two, one, deep breath in, deep breath out, like that. I'm doing a full 180. Chest up, and then rotate. Good, push against me slightly. Three, two, one, deep breath in into the chest to just take our body weight off, okay? Quick contacts on the floor. Then gonna go straight into our league shuffles. Quick contacts there and back. Once you get used to it, we'll give you a little bit of a time challenge. Quick contacts with the floors. Whoa, 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 you should be floating. Hold it from a little bit higher. Jump into the first one. You wanna be floating up, yeah? Get up, get up, get up, get up. Good, keep your arms rigid. There we go. Toes up. Nine, 10, good. Pull it into the chest and keep it there. So many times I see people on social media going around like that because yeah. they're not getting a tight enough grip on here. Yeah. You need to make sure that you're really pulling it down, yeah. keeping it tight to the chest. Only thing that's moving is your toes going up and down. Yeah. Yeah. You jump into that first one, yeah. float and then tap. Let's go. There we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Feel better? Feels better. Good. All these shuffles on here. Nice. Good. Yeah. Back. And then back. Now you got the rhythm, go a little bit faster. Yeah. So the record at Boxing Science is 6.5 seconds. Yeah. Go a little bit faster. One, let's go. That's good. Yeah, you rush it a little bit, go. And time, well done. 886, so that's not bad for the first one, especially when he stuttered a little bit. Yeah. Quick interruption. Hopefully you've seen Boxing Science, we are very data driven, whether that's testing, or training. We're also very data driven in our content as well. So we're giving you the best possible content, best possible workout tips to take into your training environment. Part of that research, we've actually noticed that only 31% of people watching this video actually subscribe to the channel. So the other 69% that are watching but not subscribing, just like to ask you a quick favor. Can you please hit that subscribe button? So that helps the growth of the channel and helps give you even better content. Jump up into the first one, quick taps on the floor. Only thing that's moving are your toes pulling up towards your shin. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Yeah, go, go, go. Ah, oh, come on. Keep going, keep going. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Well done. Let's go. Speed, 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 speed. I'm going to get a band, pop it around the knees, and what we're going to do is band the shadow box. Going forward, boom, pivot, boom, boom, back, there, okay? And you do three each side. So with the bands, what that does, it makes it harder for the lower body, for lateral movement and pivoting, yeah? So once you get that groove, just go into it just like a normal shadow box in, yeah? Go with a little bit of speed. Could get your hips through. Good. Go to the other side, keep alternating which side you pivot into. So do two on your left now. Yeah, nice. Yeah, there, yeah. But instead of pushing into it, I want you, boom, there. Okay, hard. Took you by surprise there, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Trying to break my hand. Maybe not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah, go on, go again. Three, two, one, good. Right hand, yeah, so there, I want your hips, I want to turn your yeah, back yeah. foot into the floor, yeah? Three, two, one. Good, now left hook, yeah? Yeah, three, two, one. Good, right. Yeah, push. Three, two, one. Uppercut. Three, two, one. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Because when people do this, they go there and then they'll push. Yeah, yeah. What this is doing is increasing that snap at end range. Yeah, yeah. So when you throw a punch, yeah. you have two peaks in activation. Peak when we rotate, we relax and we peak at the end. So what this is doing is helping that, that peak and that snap yeah. at the end. If you are just pushing through the shot, you're not going to create that stiffness to transfer that power. So you want to be basically tense at the end, arm, core, lower body, all fixed in. So this is just getting you in them punch specific movements, but then boom, stiff, yeah. boom, stiff. And this is what we're going to be doing on lead up to your fight and also in your pre-fight warm up. You do this, go into your pads, then you'll be potentiated and ready to go and firing ready to go, yeah. Three, two, one. Good, hips through. Two, one. Wait, don't wing it, don't wing it round. Keep it shorter, and get your body behind it. Yeah, push, 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 push. Three, two, one, better. Three, two, one, good. Three, two, one, good. Let's go. Three, two, one, nice. 43.5, can you hit 44? Dip and drive. 44, PB, PB. Punch first, one step back, and then five through. Hips come through, don't be leaning over that front foot. Good, turn them feet all the way through. Good, good. Good, 42, one. A little bit short with your arms at the minute. So get them arms long as you come through. 42, seven. I don't mean start your arms there, start your arms here still, but when you come down, yeah. don't be like that. 
load it up and then drive it up. Long arms, 39.5, it's gone down. Better, well done, 41.2. When you're doing this and stepping back, I don't want you to have the ball here, then come back keep and the then forward. Here. I want you to keep the ball back there, so it's all being loaded up through this back leg, and then just allow yourself to load it up, boom, to make sure that you get that twist. Yeah, that's it. More power there. Good, whip your hips through. Nice. Good. Hips through. Good. Chest through, chest up. Try and show that Boxing Science logo. Imaginary, yeah, that's it. Try and show your chest as much as you can. Good. Lunge. In there. So it's not too close to your chest, it's not too far out. Yeah. It's just in the middle there, okay? We're lunging down, this band is increasing that momentum coming down. So you've got to apply some baking forces there, and then we're rotating just over the front leg. As we rotate, shoulders pinned back, chest up, and we're keeping that lower body stable. There, and there, there, and there. What it's doing here is helping that rotational stability after a shot. So if you throw a punch, there, so right hand, got a lot of momentum going forward that you've got control to then go into like a lead hook yeah. or maybe coming back into position there. If you go there, right hand and stay there, you're going to end up yeah. being caught and not being able to follow up with your combination. So with this, this is just basically overloading that, rotating through. He's still punching it. You're like snatching at it. Yeah. I want you to flow like a yeah. like a wave. Snatch it at yeah, it. Yeah. I want you to be there. Boom. Oh, Two. Right. Boom. Yeah, just Two. that movement, okay. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. the movement. No, yeah. I'm not looking yeah. for power here. Right. I'm looking for nice flowing yeah. action. Do that. Your upper body's tense and it's a lot of arms going into it and you're not getting that maximum rotation okay. there. If you, when you drop down, and you're going to get more rotational range through that. Also, I need a bigger step. So, you want to be there, like at 90 degrees. This back knee just behind your hips. You at the minute, you're there. You're short with it, you're there, and then you're snatching it. So, longer lunge, relax through that upper body, rotate through. and rotate. Keeping the lower body stable, rotating the upper body. Control, go, three, four, five, four more. Six, other side, dip down, turn your hip, flex it on the front knee. Four, five, six, good. Good leg flow, one action. So now you've got it, you're flowing, nice movement but let's put it all together. So as you lunge, you rotate at the same time. Yeah, a little bit more challenging. That's better. Nice, good. Other side. Good. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching the Boxing Science YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. And hopefully see you on the next video of Boxing Science. <laughs>